What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy, happy Monday. This is your Monday motivational video for the rest of your week and your evening because it is coming to you guys late in the afternoon, but that is okay, you guys. I try to bring you guys my motivational videos early in the day to kind of give you guys a little pep in your step so you can kind of push through the rest of your day, but I do apologize that today has been um, a little late for me. I got up this morning, went to the gym, and then Tyrone and I went um, and ran some errands. Um, and you know how, how you know how I get sometimes when you you're in the midst of doing something But then you kind of remember there are certain things that you had to do and then along the way you're thinking of other things that you can do so you do them and uh, Yeah, so the day got ahead of me and I just got back from doing a two-mile walk. I Am tired. It is hot out there. You guys my feet hurt. I Also got my chiropractic treatment today as well. I always get my uh, chiropractic uh, treatments done once a month as well as a massage once a month because I do have back problems um, especially in my shoulder area that stemmed from stress and it just never went away and it's just off and on um, but anyway that was my Monday so it's been a very busy day very busy day um, haven't made dinner yet so I'm going to do that um, if you guys want to know, sometimes you guys are like, especially when I do my gaming streams and I tell you guys, oh, I just had dinner. You guys always want to know what I ate. So I'll tell you guys what I did eat last night and I have a little bit of leftovers. So I, well, both Tyrone and I came across this dairy free, um, <sighs> olive vodka sauce, like the, the, you know, pasta sauce. And I was a little iffy about it because it's dairy free and y'all know vodka sauce is the bomb with uh, pasta. Um, but I bought it after the first time I saw it, I was like, mm, let me wait. Then I went back and I bought the sauce and it's actually really good. It's a dairy free vodka sauce. There's no vodka in it though. Instead, there's a couple of different things in it. I think there's like pumpkin puree in it. Um, it's made with avocado oil. I'm not exactly sure. I think the brand is Prime Kitchen brand, um, which is a really good brand. And I was actually pleasantly surprised that it was that good. So last night I made some pasta with um, uh, chicken parm, of course, with dairy-free mozzarella cheese. And it actually came out really, really good. I didn't make the chicken parm with regular pasta sauce because what I had was the vodka sauce. Um, but it actually came out really, really good. And I didn't bread my chicken. I actually made everything in a pan stovetop. And it actually came out really good. So that's what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I have another piece of chicken left and I have some pasta left over. So I'm going to make that with a side of green beans. And that's going to be my dinner. And I'm going to have some, probably some ice cream or make myself a s'more for dessert. We'll see. But anyway, you guys, enough about what I'm going to eat for dinner. Um, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys are up to and how your weekend was. My weekend was pretty, I don't know, it was pretty quiet. Like, I did go out. I think we went, let's see, where did I go? We went to the mall, um, went food shopping. Other than that, it was a quiet weekend. I didn't really do anything. I still have yet to go into a pool. But on Wednesday, I'm going to my sister's house. My sister has a pool, so... I'm going to go spend a good amount of time with my sister and my nephews, which is always fun. It's always fun. So anyway, you guys, today I just want to touch a little bit on talents and encouraging you guys not to waste them. So I know a lot of people who know people as well as I know people growing up who had many, many talents, whether it's a sport, whether it's art, drawing, whether it's styling and things like that. And you know, as you get older, you kind of watch people who you used to be around head down the wrong path or let their talents go to waste. And I just want to encourage you guys, do not let your talent go to waste. Um, I personally know a lot of people who had talent in sports and they didn't do anything with it. I mean, they had scholarships. They had, you know they could have went pro people who were actually looking you know to to you know scouting them and things like that you know i know people who can draw 
like it's nobody's business. I mean, like literally drawing. I'm not talking about tracing. I mean, like freehand drawing. I mean, amazing, amazing work. And it's one of those things where if you have the talent to draw, if you have a talent to play sports, if you have a talent, and artistry doesn't only mean uh, um, drawing. It, it, I'm a hairdresser, and there's a lot of art that goes into that because there's a lot of different ways to style hair, and it's almost like drawing. You have to have... You, you're playing with colors and you're playing with different textures and you're playing with different haircuts. And I firmly believe as a hairdresser myself that you can style anyone's hair to look really amazing as long as it begins with an amazing haircut. Because if you have a bad haircut, a certain style is just not going to look right because the cut is wrong or the cut is bad. Um, so there's a lot of artistry that goes into that, you know, when it comes to angles and, you know, framing the face and angling the hair and taking volume out, putting volume in, you know, and things like that. So when it comes to, you know, if you guys heard of any like hair shows, there are people you go to these hair shows and there are people, I mean, barbers, you know, uh, stylists, hair cutters, nails, all of that is artistry, especially those who come up with their own techniques and their own way of doing different things, of styling different hair. It's all artistry. And so someone like me who's always been into art, like when I was a lot younger, I always wanted to be an artist, literally like paint. I used to always beg my parents to buy me paint all the time. And I don't know if I told her around this. I mean, a lot of people don't know this, but I used to beg my parents to buy me brushes and paint. And I always started, you know, when I was younger with the water paints, but then as I got older, I asked them for like one of those plastic e uh, easels, you know? And I always wanted my mom to buy me, you know, more um, advanced paint, like the big people paint and the bigger brushes and I used to sit there and I used to pretend like I was an artist and I would sit there and just paint and I wouldn't know what I was painting but I knew that I absolutely enjoyed it and you know I obviously let that go like I was not great my sister my younger sister on the other hand she's an amazing drawer like she can sit there and look at something and literally freehand draw it and she's amazing at it and my niece her daughter is the same way. Like she can really, really draw and it's really impressive. Um, but as for me, like I, I wasn't that good of a of a drawer or painter. I just knew that I loved art. And you know, after that, I just kind of let it go as I got older, but I didn't know that when I got older, I was going to get into cosmetology school. In cosmetology school, there's a lot of art that goes into that. So it was kind of, you know, one day I was thinking about it and it kind of dawned on me like, oh my God, like I wanted to do art and here I am expressing myself through hairstyles and hair color. And I even did nails on the side. I would do nail designs and everything. Um, and it was funny how that kind of came back full circle in my adult life. Um, so I made a living out of that. And I am currently still licensed out of Connecticut. Um, and, you know, if, if the love comes back to me the way it used to be, maybe I'll get licensed out of Jersey. And, you know, it's always good to kind of have your feet in a couple of places because you never know. You never know. I do have... A business management degree and I am licensed a licensed cosmetologist and I am a certified makeup artist um, and that was another thing like I loved makeup and when I went to hairdressing school the first thing I did was get certified for makeup and then I got my license in hairdressing so you know I, I say that to say that I know that a lot of you guys have a lot of talent whether it's that whether it's a barbering whether it's you know being a financial advisor whether it's being a counselor, if you give good advice, whether it's making jewelry, whether it's, you know, playing sports, whether it's coaching, whether you do being a life coach, um, I, do not waste your talents, you guys. A lot of people have so much talent and they instead go into jobs that they hate. They go into doing things that they're not happy doing and then, you know, they're miserable at their jobs. They're miserable being around people they don't like. And I tell you that if you go after your talent, if it's something that you really, really enjoy, I promise you that work will not feel like work. 
going to graphics, going to designing, you know, posters and designing things for big companies. You know, there's so much out there. So if you have a talent, if you have a talent, please act on it. Don't live your life with regrets, wishing that you would have done something with your talent. And now here you are years later, and now you can't do anything about it. If you want to perfect the talent, if and if it's something that you can go to school for and get certified for, or get licensed for, do that. You, we, I really firmly believe that we are all born with gifts and we are all born with certain talents. And I believe that when you have a talent and when you have a gift, that's not something that can be learned. That is something that's in you. And if it's something that is naturally in you, that you are born to, to want to do, and it's, it's like a yearning thing, it's like a, a burning thing that you want to do, do that. Do not go and, and put yourself in a position to be miserable and hate what you're doing and be stressed out because you're not doing what you actually love. You know, do what you can. If you're at a job right now that you really don't want to be at, save your money and put invest in yourself. Invest money into the talent that you do have so you can make a business out of it or even work at a place where you can express your talent and you can, you know, share the gift that you have. So that's my encouragement for you guys for your week, for your day, for the weeks ahead, the months, the year, whatever it is. Do not waste your talent. Do something about it. Act on your talent, even if it's a side thing, even if it's a side gig. You know, do something that still makes you happy. That's why I tell you guys, if you're at a job that you don't like or it stresses you out and you're unhappy, you know, you're working for someone else. You're clocking in for someone else and making someone else money. When you get home, don't forget about yourself. Do not forget to work on your goals and your desires. All right? Now, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Of course, you guys know that I always come to you guys Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help give you a little pep in your step when it comes to your motivating, uh, motivation and encouragement and inspiration. Um, this was a little bit of all three of those. So I hope I inspired you and encouraged you and motivated you in some way, shape, or form. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!